In today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet, news, sports, politics, and tech, but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for news. Hey everybody. Uh, sadly, Hope Solo's husband Jeremy Stevens has been arrested again for a alleged violation of probation that stemmed from the incident at Hope's house roughly two weeks ago on Monday, excuse me, on Sunday night, where he had an argument with Hope allegedly and was taken into custody, but no charges were filed. It was written then that Stevens was on probation for a 2010 arrest for marijuana possession, but when no charges were filed, I personally thought, well, they're not going to, they being the people in Florida, aren't going to nail him for this because they're no charges have been filed, and they're, they're still under investigation. Something happened, because they took him in this morning, and he's in jail without bail. Uh, and the allegation is for the probation violation, and they uh, he's going to see a judge in the morning, and the judge will determine what to do with him. Uh, hopefully, the judge lets him go, because... That case is still under investigation in Washington. I don't know. Something's happened. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing and hoping the best for Hope. But the bottom line is, yeah, that's sad. Hope, in this video... Uh, my life is great. My life is happy. Um, it's unfortunate what a, a few miss... Um, you know, what the media can do to really judge before the facts are out there. And it, it's hard to see, It's um, but it's a hard truth and it's part of life. I'm happy. I'm happily married. I um, would never stand for domestic violence. I've never been hit in my life. Um, it's unfortunate, and that's what the media can do. Said, you know, look at the police report. When you look at the police report, Jeremy says, hey, I had an argument with Hope. He should not have said that to the police, because then the people that allegedly came there that Hope's brother used a stun gun on, who left, that would have been the focus because the police couldn't find them. But when Jeremy said, I had an argument with Hope and he had blood on him and she had blood on her, that's what triggered everything. Hope said I, she's never been hit in her life. It wasn't a domestic violence case. I still hope that's the case as well. But right now, it looks like this is not going away. It's just going to get worse before it gets better. And if they if these two get out of this, they'll be married for quite some time. This isn't like... Lisa Robin Kelly, who was arrested again for domestic violence, 42 years old, getting in a fight with her 61-year-old husband in North Carolina, and she was the former 70s show star who played uh, Laura Foreman for one year before basically being out of the acting business. Hasn't done anything since then, uh, except get into trouble and fights with her mates. Wow. But anyway, let's all, I'm just going to say, let's all pray for Hope, you know, because uh, she deserves better, I think.